You know, I'm supposed to be on vacation. Why are they releasing all these trailers at the same damn time? Star Wars The Force Awakens first trailer is now out. Thoughts on this? I really don't have anything to complain about in this trailer as opposed to Jurassic World. That said, it doesn't necessarily get me excited. That's not really the fault of the trailer though. At this point, I'm so jaded by what happened with the prequels that my level of inherent excitement is not very high. I still hope the movies are good. I think there's a fair chance they will be. I will go and see them, but it's probably gonna be the movie itself that's gonna have to win me over the marketing. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna get one over by the marketing, because the marketing for the prequels was good, but the movies weren't. That said, there's a couple of things that I really like about what they do here. The first is how much new stuff they show us. In terms of characters we see, things that we see happen, it's almost all new. I mean, there's a couple of nods to old stuff. We see some stormtroopers, we see some vehicles that we've seen before. I love that they saved the Millennium Falcon for the end, because that, that was about the one part that I sort of like, Oh, just that extended shot of the Falcon. That, that was just really well put together and really well timed in terms of where it fell in the placement in the trailer. And it does make me curious about what's going on. Seeing stormtroopers kind of made me go, well, thought we got rid of the Empire. And it does sort of get my brain rolling. Well, okay, they took out the Emperor, but the infrastructure is all still there. And that infrastructure was kind of dependent on things being enforced by stormtroopers. They don't just suddenly poof vanish because the Emperor was gotten rid of. So I find that interesting just off the bat, the fact that they're even there. I had another friend who kind of pointed out to me and, and once he mentioned it, I did appreciate this, how much negative space there is in these shots. This is not what Lucas ended up doing in the prequels, which is to cram as much as possible into the frame. There's a lot of very clear focus. Here's the shot, here's where your focus is, and now here's a nice open landscape behind the thing that you're focusing on. That's just nice structure and that's much more visually appealing and it reads much more quickly and it's really good for the trailer. Now, I don't expect the whole movie to make that much use of negative space, but for what they chose for the teaser, very well chosen because it allows you to immediately focus on what it is that you should be focusing on in any given shot or a small little piece they used. You know, I said I don't have any complaints. I, I suppose I have one. The thing with the, the lightsaber that we see, and it's red, so it's obviously a Sith, and then the little, psh, they come out and it looks like, like a broadsword hilt is what it ends up looking at. I, I kind of snickered when they did that because they're, they're obviously trying very hard to go for the raw impact of when Darth Maul had the two bladed. It's not that. I'm sorry. That, that moment, uh, especially in the early trailers to Phantom Menace, you can't top that moment for, oh, wow. And they tried. And I they probably would have been better off not trying to match that. And just from a practical standpoint, seeing those little two things on the side, I'm just thinking of the way we've seen lightsabers used up to this point and the way they're used and the way they're handled, they're not handled like big heavy broadswords where you need a help for blocking purposes. They're handled with a bit more finesse. It's a, it's closer to fencing in terms of really quick motions and everything. And I would imagine things sticking out the size like that, that would be more of a detriment to the person wielding the thing than anyone that he's going up against. I mean, you know, to be fair, we haven't seen the thing in action. That may swing me over. But just on concept, I'm looking at going, I don't know about that. I mean, the double-bladed one was probably a very big hazard to be wielding as well. But you see that and you go, whoa, if you know what you're doing, you can really tear something up with that. You see the little things on the side, you go, well, you know what you're doing, you could, I don't know. What could you use that for? It shows good stuff, it gave us images, and especially, you know, the music at the very end that we are familiar with, and all the nostalgic folks can go, oh yeah, but it was plenty of new imagery so that we're getting hooked, hopefully, into what is new about it instead of just aping the now 70-year-old main cast that's coming back, which I'm very happy they're coming back, but I'm glad they weren't put front and center right off the bat. Hang back a little, save them for a little bit. I like that approach. But like, like I said, my actual enthusiasm for the movie itself has not gone up at all with this. But as we saw what happened with the Jurassic World trailer, it didn't dampen my enthusiasm, which is what that trailer managed to do. So, you know, the fact that they were able to release something and it didn't make me go, yeah, here's everything that's gonna be wrong with that, I suppose that we'll count that as a win. So the first trailer for the new Star Wars movie, did you see it? I'm assuming you probably have by now. So what did you think about it? Whatever it is you thought, drop something down in the comments and let's talk about it. Until next time, this council is adjourned.